Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sane of Code Logical, and welcome back to the third part of the tutorial series which is um, MJS Simple Shopping Cart System. And um, in the previous video, we did create a dedicated product page for a single product. And in today's video, we're going to have a look at how to create a page wherein we can add new products to um, our system. Okay, so first of all, what we need to do is create a route for that page. So let's just duplicate this route we have here and we're going to give it a name of add product and its um, URL as well will be add product. That is the path. Okay. So now that we have a route for that page, let's create a template for this uh, route as well. So let's say, uh, let's just, um, well, okay, let's not duplicate that. Let's just create a script um, template from scratch and we'll just give it a type of text stars x handlebars and we'll give it an id of our product and inside there um, we'll have three things which is the title but now instead of just outputting the name we'll just create an input um, helper and bind the value to um, the name property of our controller and next we'll just take the description as well and bind that to the description property of our controller and finally we'll just take the price as well and bind that to that price okay next what we need to do is create an add product um, controller so let's do that in our app.js here so, so just right below the index route, let's just say app dot um, add product controller equals to ember dot object controller dot extend. And this um, controller here will have need to have an action, and um, the action will be uh, called save product. And the reason for that action is so that when we submit the form um, that we'll soon create inside here, that that action captures the submit form and creates a new um, product based on the values that we put in the input fields. Okay, so let's just say action and let's say save product. And before we implement that, let's go back in our index here and wrap these things inside of a form. And the form will have an action. Um, and we'll have to change the submit triggerer for that action. It's by default a uh, click. So we'll have to say on equals to submit so that it only triggers that action when we submit a form and not when we click on it. And what action do we want to trigger is called save product. Okay, so we'll just move all these things inside of the form. Okay, so let's just um, format this a little bit nicer than it actually is. All right, uh, last but not the least, let's add a submit button as there as well. So we can submit the form. All right, so we'll just say input type equals to submit and we'll give it a value of our product okay so let's try this in our browser um, this will most likely fail but I just want to um, show you something okay um, first of all let's create a link helpers here as well just to be able to link to that create um, add product route easily so let's we'll say a link to add product up here in our um, our application template so we can say add product okay so that seems to be in order so let's just go back here refresh the page and we should just see the same um, seems like I didn't start the server so I'll just do that quickly um, okay so that's just a simple PHP server that I used to quickly run an Ember app. So I'll refresh this and we shall see those um, PlayStation and all that Xbox stuff being listed here. And we can link to that product page. I'll just click here and we're taken to this page. 
But I just want to show you something. We'll get an error once we start typing um, stuff inside this box here. Let's just look at the console. Um, should give us some errors. So it says assertion failed, cannot delegate, set, blah, blah, to the content property of object. And the reason for that is when we were coming in to the art product um, controller, we came into the art product route, which Ember created for us. But since we didn't set a model, um, the content property of the controller um, is undefined. And the problem here is that when you um, bind to a property on a controller that doesn't exist, what Ember does is it goes to the content property of the um, controller and appends the um, that property to the contents but since the contents is undefined it's not sure what to do so it's complaining that the content is undefined so how i got around that problem is uh, there's two ways to get around it and the first way is to create an um, add product route and then just return some model but there for some reasons i did not do that um, i wanted to keep it simple but the other way i found how to get around that issue is to say content and set the content to an empty object so now the content is defined now when I refresh this page and I start typing um, it should be fine as you can see it's all okay no errors so let's go ahead now and just implement um, our add product um, actual save product here okay let's just make sure that that's the action that we're triggering so save product on submit save product okay and what we need to do is just get the properties from that form and we'll just say um, var new product equal to this dot um, store dot create record and what record do you want to create what type you have to give it a first um, string and this time we want to create a product and the second um, thing that you pass in there in that method is a hash which contains the properties for the uh, model you want to create and in this case it's going to be a hash of key name values the first property is the name and we'll just get that from um, this controller by saying this dot get name and we just do the same for um, description and this dot get description last but not the least we'll just do it for price okay so we have a um, product created we just have to save it now so we'll just say new product dot save and uh, we'll just say that then let's just make sure that it is saved so this function anonymous function we're passing here will only be called when the new product is saved and let's just bind the disk key of that to the outer scope here or I'll just keep it simple so we'll just say controller this uh, this can get a bit confusing but basically what this bind is doing is saying when I say this inside this function here I'm referring to the outer scope which is controller so this if you didn't do that this um, that this if you didn't do that bind <laughs> this here anytime you refer this it will mean the scope of this anonymous function here and we don't want that because we want to be able to transition to a route once the um, product is saved okay so now let's just say controller the transition to route actually and what route we want to go to the index route which has the list of products anytime that the product is saved so if everything works fine we should be able to add a new product now so let's go back in our page and let's go way back to the home page refresh start from scratch make sure nothing's broken click on add product and I'll say Nintendo Wii and we'll say Nintendo's last gen console and we'll just give it a price it's slightly cheaper and when I click enter or I'll just click on add product here as you can see the Nintendo Wii has been added to this list of products and we can go and click on the Wii as well and we'll see more details about it let's add another product let's just say um, uh, let's just say Sega Dreamcast and uh, let's say brilliant control that came out in the last two decades 
Okay, and probably the Sega will be about 40 pounds or so. So we'll just, right now I wouldn't click on the add button, add product, I'll just click on enter and the Sega Dreamcast is being shown in the list here. Okay, and let's just inspect the Ember Inspector and see stuff that we have in data. And as you can see, we have products and we have four records inside that product here, um, which is the consoles that we have and their prices. Okay guys, um, that's it for this video. Um, I hope it was helpful. This was slightly longer, but obviously that's expected because we're doing more advanced stuff now. And um, I hope this was helpful. So if it was, please do rate and subscribe and share the videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.